Hey everyone! Since I've noticed that there are still some problems for people installing the Realm of Thrones mod, I'm hereby making a renewed version of the installation video. In this video, I will install Realm of Thrones, unzip it using 7-zip, and address common issues that may arise during the installation of our mod. If you have any other questions, or if something is unclear, please feel free to ask the team in our Discord, the link to which I've added in the description. So let's get right into it. Firstly, you will need to install two mods of which Realm of Thrones is dependent. A list of these mods is added in the description, so everyone can easily copy the links and follow the guide. The first one is the Harmony mod, and the second one is the UI Extender X mod. Both can also be found on the Nexus Mods website. These mods are required. If you do not download these mods, Realm of Thrones cannot work. So it's extremely important to download both of these mods and install them like I'm going to show you in this video. The following mods are not necessary for Realm of Thrones to work, but they are however very useful. Therefore I highly recommend downloading them. The first one is the Butterlip mod. Um, if you have, uh, receive any crashes while playing, Butterlip will create a crash report, which you can send in our Discord. So our mod team can give you the aid you need for the actual problem you have at that moment. Another must-have mod is the MB, or Mod Configuration Menu. This mod gives you the option to change settings like the Static War uh, or our Event Chain which can create a game to your personal preference or to use um, with other mods like the Diplomacy mod. Of course, you also need the Realm of, Realm of Thrones mod itself. This can be downloaded through Nexus or ModDB. And for our Patreon members, the latest version can be downloaded in our Patreon Early Access installation channel, which can be found uh, in our Discord. The principle for Patreons is just the same, uh, the only difference is the location from which you need to download the file. Lastly, you also need to download the 7-zip in order to unzip the Realm of Thrones files you will have downloaded. Um, it is not possible to use Vortex since it will result in a faulty extraction. If you have downloaded all the dependencies, the Realm of Thrones mod itself, and 7-zip, like I have done, it's time to unzip the files. Simply right-click the file, press More Options, and choose 7-zip option. It's in Dutch now, but you see where I'm getting at. Press the Extract Here file. You can also extract the files to wherever you want, but for the simplicity of this video, I'm just going to press Extract Here. Wait until it's fully complete and do the same with the other mods like Harmony, UI Extender, Butterlip and the mod configuration menu. Always use 7-zip, never use Vortex since it will result in a crash. When you've unzipped your mods, you'll receive two folders, two maps. One is the ROT um, version itself minus 5.5, the Patreon version. Yours will be the generic one if you used Nexus, or of course the Patreon one if you're a Patreon and uh, downloaded it from uh, Discord. And another one is the module folder in which the four um, other mods are extracted. So don't be alarmed if it's one uh, folder. All mods are extracted into one um, map. When you've extracted them, uh, you can open your Steam, right-click on Mountain Blade Bannerlord, go to Manage, Browse Local Files, and open it. You'll get your local files, and we are now going to copy everything into our module uh, folder. If you already have another version of ROT or another version of another mod installed, remove them completely, start fresh. Don't copy them in and uh, override it, because you will get crashes. Open ROT and copy all four modules separately 
into your module folder. You can copy them all at once, but you are running the risk of a faulty copy. So click them, just drag them one by one, drag them below or next to the other mods, because otherwise you're copying them in uh, to another folder, uh, which of course uh, creates crashes. Um, make sure you are copying all of them and of course all the other mods you have installed like Butterlip, Harmony, um, UI Extender and um, the mod menu. After copying all the mods into your module folder you'll need to unblock your DLLs. If you do not unblock all DLLs uh, you will get a crash which states uh, something dot DLL. So if you see uh, a dot DLL you know you have to repeat this step with each and every one of your mods. Um, so click the folder of your mod. I'm now going to use Butterlip for an example, but you will have to uh, do this with each and every one of uh, of your mods. Double click, go towards the bin, go to our go towards uh, Win64 shipping client, and then you will see your DLL. If you get a crash, you will get uh, exactly the right DLL in the crash report, uh, the one you you need to unblock, but um, my advice is to do this from the start and block uh, them all before um, starting the game. Press right click, go towards properties or a in Dutch, um, go towards security and then you will see a checkbox right, um, right here. Check it and press apply. Do not press ok, do not press cancel, press apply otherwise it will not save. When you've unblocked all your DLLs you, uh, you can start your game. So go towards Steam and press play. Wait until um, your game has launched and you can see your loadouter. Um, go towards mods and you will get this loadouter. Make sure it is like this. Uh, so Harmony at the top, then UI extender, Butterlip, um, mod configuration menu, then the um, original banner load files, and at the end the RT files, first the core, then the content, then the map, then the dragon. Click them all, uh, make sure they're checked. If boxes are unchecked, this means that there is a problem with the dependency mod. So if you cannot click him, then there is a problem with Harmony or UI Extender X, and you need to, uh, to re download them. Um, and uh, re-unzip them using 7-zip. So um, this means you have a faulty extraction and you haven't uh, used 7-zip correctly as shown in this video. When all the boxes are checked um, and your load order is like this, uh, you can press play. Do not press continue uh, since it will not work. And the initial loading time, so Ignore this, uh, there is no, no reason to be alarmed, confirm. The initial loading time of uh, the game, so when you first start it, can, um, be up, can take up to 30 minutes, depending on the performance of your PC. So do not be alarmed when it takes some time to load. It's perfectly normal for the first time. It will not happen each and every time. When the game is up and running, press Into the Realm, um, as shown here, to create a new game. If you followed all steps, there should be no more problems. Uh, but if you happen to crash, copy your Butterlip crash report and send it to our Discord. Do not send a screenshot of the report, just send the entire report. Um, and one of our members, uh, of our team members, will answer uh, as soon as possible. I will now address some uh, common issues that people have when uh, playing Realm of Thrones. Firstly, if you do not see your character in the character creation menu, just wait a couple of minutes in the culture selection menu before advancing towards the character creation. That should resolve uh, the issue. Uh, it just needs some time to load in. Secondly, if you do not see an Into the Realm um, button, you are using a translation mod that does not work. At the time of making uh, this video, there are no up-to-date translations for Realm of Thrones. 
using them is, is at your uh, own risk and will probably result in uh, crashing. Saving, exiting and or reloading on or right after events uh, like the next dark execution may corrupt your save and the exact days of the events can be found in our wiki um, the link of which I have I've added in the description. If all characters are, are giants or white walkers you have installed hot putter and you need, to put, you need to put this mod above the RT files in your load order and that should resolve the uh, problem. If you like to use the diplomacy mod with Realm of Thrones you need to remove the static wars or disable them um, this can be done by downloading the MB option screen uh, like I've uh, stated in the beginning of this video. Some known towns and castles like Castle Little Rock um, do not have a custom look. This is because of some copyright claims and the mod is still a work in progress. Uh, these will be added uh, in the future. If you are on Game Pass, you need to install Bannerlord Software Extender and launch the game to it. This video does not address that installation. I have added a link uh, on how to install Realm of Strong using BLSC in the description. So if you want to use it, read it carefully because the installation is different from other mods. And lastly, I want to add that using other mods with uh, RT can resolve, uh, result in a crash. We are not responsible uh, for these crashes. You will need to remove the other mods you are using to figure out which ones exactly are creating the crashes. Um, you can use the community or ask the community for help uh, in our Discord in the non uh, RT box and crashes channel. I hope this explanation video helps you when installing our mod. We hope you enjoy the beautiful world we have created. And if you want to aid us in a future progress, you can find our Patreon in the description. Enjoy!